with the juice. Welcome to another exciting episode of The Mixed Brew Review. Today we've got a short and quick one, but a yummy and tasty one. We have a Kaiju Crush Tropical Pale Ale. This one, good old Steve from work gave it to me. On you, Steve. Uh, this one is probably going to be one of my favourites. I really enjoy the real tropical, full flavoured uh, product. The bitterness uh, in a product I'm not really a huge fan of. Uh, but I will get there eventually. Guys, I will get there. Alright, today it's just a quick one. As I said, let's get into it. No mucking around. Let's get this video in and out quick as we can. Let's just read what the Kaiju Crush has to say, eh? Okay, uh... I can't see because of that bloody light in my eyes. Okay, just gotta adjust my eyes, guys, because that light is killing me. Because I can't see. I can't fucking read because of that light, man. That's a bad light. I'm taking that fucking light off. Okay, guys, let's get into Kaiju Crush. Alright, Kaiju Crush Tropical Ale. The can is one of the best designs that I've seen. Just a really kickback. Vibrant, colourful, comedic, uh, kind of cartoony aspect to it. Um, very, uh, it gets me. I, I, I enjoyed that kind of look. Um, so, Kaiju Crush Tropical Pale Ale. After generations of kaiju interacting with local flora, the new species arose. The Frugis found a balmy weather and laid back a place to in tropical climes to their liking. Uh, settling many remote islands, but always on guard from those who would seek to exploit their mouth-watering, mouth-watering juiciness and impeccable balance. Okay, <laughs> whatever that means. Um, there is a boat carrying a whole bunch of uh, nice tropical island fruits there, though. <laughs> All right. Let's give Kaiju Crush a go. I believe you can get this one at Dan Murphy's. Uh, as I said, Steve was a great bloke and got me this one. So, uh, thanks again, Steve. All right, let's get into the Kaiju Crush. Oh, that smells awesome. It's got a very uh, spearhead, uh, the spearhead pale ale in a can kind of uh, smell that I can get out of it so far, uh, but better, a bit more intense. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's do this. Mmm. Yeah, well, there's a little bit more bitter in there than I thought there was going to be, Steve. But, you know what, that is... Yeah, that's very close to the Spearhead Pale Ale, I would put. In a can, though. In a can only. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right, get this bastard out and see what she does. Whoop, yeah, that was awesome. I'm dribbling everywhere here, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh dear. Now that had to be one of the worst pours I've ever done. But there's still some in the can. All right, well, let's just let that mellow and uh, we'll get into it shortly, eh? Okay. Let, let's just uh, top this one up now. It's uh, going down a bit. Need to get it all in there. Can't have it without all of it. Oh, look at that. That's a brainy head. It comes out, forms like that. It's a brainy head. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I'm just going to let that uh, froth down a bit. It looks nice though. It's got a bit of cloudy to it. It's not a uh, true clear. All right, that's gone down enough. I, I can't wait any longer. Uh, take a bit of that away. Tasty froth. I'll get past this froth and uh, we'll get into it, eh? But as you know, I like a good head. But. Well, that's great in the glass. Yeah, the bitter, the bitter settles down in that one. All right, Kaiju Crush, Tropical Pale Ale. 
Not as tropical as what it could be. There's a little bit more bitterness than I thought there was going to be in that one. Um, if you're into your real bitter uh, IPAs and stuff like that, you might not notice the bitter in this all that much. But it's definitely there. I mean, you, you breathe out and you get that uh, that bitter kind of, yeah, and it's kind of, not over overwhelming, but it's overwhelming the tropical aspect of the hops anyway. So the tropical really settles down. The bitterness still stays there to play uh, when you breathe out. It's refreshing. The body of it's good. The carbonation level's decent. Um, overall, there's not really a huge bitterness out of it now, but there's not a huge tropical aspect out of it now. It's just, just a, uh, a nice medium kind of flavoured. Um, but yeah, it's... Okay, so I would buy more, but I don't think this would be my drink. I think still right now, Bolta XPA stands at the top uh, with uh, Single Fin, um, Stone and Wood, those, uh, those kind of guys at the moment, for me, anyway. But you know what? I enjoy, I'm enjoy. i going to enjoy the journey that we're going to do to knock them off the, uh, the top sessionable of my lists. And uh, get into you know, some Green Beacon, get into a lot of these craft breweries, going to do a brew review, uh, sorry, going to do a brewery tour uh, of a few different breweries, um, hopefully soon, uh, with uh, Steve's, <laughs> the Steve's, and um, that'd, be, that'd be awesome, I reckon. Um, got to open my eyes to a lot of what's going on at the moment, because I used to be into all this craft beer and uh, went to Sydney, it was a good five years ago, and was getting into a few of the... Um, really nice uh, microbrew stuff they had down there. And now it looks like Brisbane is really exploding in that way too. Um, good on you guys. Uh, get more craft in Queensland. You know? More craft in Queensland is, uh, is is kind of what we need. Thank you very much for watching another Mixed Brew Review. Catch you next time and enjoy your beers. That's it. Go home. Oh.